Right. It's the refugee crisis right now has is not um, catastrophic yet. And uh, Pakistani officials are hoping it would not be, it will not be. Uh, of course, the expectations for the numbers of refugees uh, has not been reached yet. Uh, the expectations were high and the number of refugees is still in the hundreds, uh, in, in, in the couple of thousands, uh, not more. Uh, there are some refugees who reached these uh, southern uh, borders of Pakistan with Afghanistan, more close to Kandahar. Uh, there are some refugees uh, coming across from Jalalabad uh, into Pakistan, but it's not, uh, it's, it's still in the hundreds. Uh, of course, if the uncertainty continues in Afghanistan, if Taliban failed to create and form an inclusive government, the numbers could increase, the uncertainty could increase. So far, we had not seen heavy fighting in Afghan cities. Taliban had it easy. Uh, there were surrenders, mass surrenders by the Afghan army. And uh, there were not a mass uh, uh, displacement of populations. So we were lucky in that sense. So we didn't see a huge movement of people. But, but this uh, status quo will not continue if the Afghan government, the new government is not formed. And if it's not inclusive, if it does not represent all Afghans. So, so, so it's a very wait and see situation. Uh, yes, there are some refugees trickling in, but it's not really that bad. So that's the refugee situation. Now, now everyone in, in Islamabad, really, the expectation is that Taliban would expedite and would will announce a government in the next few hours. We're already late. We've been hearing this whole week, starting Monday, that a government would be announced. Uh, frankly, Afghanistan cannot wait. And the longer the formation of the government takes, uh, we'd see a uh, we'd see the these the, the chances for a civil war really uh, become uh, higher, and we see the the early signs of that in and around Panjshir. So in order, and it's a good thing. Let me just tell you one thing about Panjshir. Uh, what we hear here in Islamabad is that uh, yes, there are skirmishes, uh, but both parties, both uh, Ahmed Shah Massoud inside Panjshir, and also the Taliban, are trying to contain these skirmishes, uh, keep them to the limits, uh, not allow them to expand. I was just listening to the, the, uh, the, the, the audio clip you played just now for an official from the resistance at the National Front. And they also talked about, you know, they're trying not to expand it yet, but they can. They have the ability, obviously, and all Afghan parties have the ability to expand this war. But everyone is really trying not to expand it. And I think it's all is not lost yet. Uh, there's still a good chance that we could have a government that would be representative. If you still have time, I could still cover the Pakistan and Iran thing. Um, uh, Iran is, is, is you know, I'm, a lot of the people who are watching Iran's role in Afghanistan, we're surprised by how Iran is behaving so far. So far, they're acting good. Uh, so far, they're not trying to spoil uh, uh, the situation inside Afghanistan. They could have... Uh, they have assets, uh, the Iranians, and in particular the IRGC, the, the Paz Dharan, they have assets inside uh, Afghanistan. Not least the the, uh, the Fatimi Yun militia, the brigade that they have, which fought in, in Syria, which still exists there. But they've returned some of those fighters and shifted them to Afghanistan, and they have them inside of Afghanistan. But they're all dormant right now. None of them are active. And I think the Iranian government is trying to sort of not get in the way of uh, U.S. government efforts and the international com uh, community's efforts to form a government. So I think the Iranians are also adopting a wait, uh, watch, and see uh, attitude. They, they would like to see where this whole thing goes. And of course, the Taliban has uh, did reach out to the Afghan Shia population, and some of them are connected, not all of them, but some of them are connected to uh, the Iranians and in particular the IRGC. And so the vibes are good. Uh, everybody is waiting and watching to see what happens. The Iranians are, 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 are being quiet right now and just are just watching. So you don't see really many of the countries around Afghanistan meddling so far inside Afghanistan. Everybody's trying to give Pakistan, Qatar, uh, the United States, and of course the Taliban, the chance to, and, and Afghan politicians, the chance to form a government. Looking at the region though, uh, how has this perhaps emboldened the Pakistani Taliban as well as their growing fears inside Pakistan of, of further unrest to come, specifically targeting the Pakistani government? 
I tell you, it's uh, it's uh, this is a divided country when it comes to the Taliban. Uh, certainly, there are people who say, well, you know, it's better than the previous government, which failed to cooperate with the United States, failed to cooperate with Pakistan, failed to uh, clinch a deal uh, with the Taliban. It was corrupt, and so 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 far and so forth. But uh, there's a huge division in Pakistan and a debate here as to the to the impact. And of course, uh, there's serious concern that uh, Taliban would actually inspire other extremist groups. But the good thing is, so far, Taliban is uh, is uh, sort of giving the right vibes also to Pakistan, uh, telling officials indirectly, we will not hook up with your extremist groups. We will try to, we will not give them safe haven in Afghanistan. Obviously, all, the, all these statements, uh, the talk is really good so far from Taliban. Uh, but of course, you have to wait and see whether they will follow uh, through with what, what they're saying. And for that, you have to give them time. But so far, they're telling the Pakistanis the, the right thing. We will not let our uh, soil, Afghan soil, be used against you. Will not let any of the extremist or terrorist groups really be uh, based here in Afghanistan. So that's good. So that that gives some surety to the Pakistanis. But yes, there is still concern. This is, after all, the Taliban. Uh, they have a certain interpretation of Islam, which is a, a little bit towards uh, uh, the extremist uh, side, and that would definitely inspire uh, other extremists as well. So we are waiting to see what that impact would be. Frankly speaking, you don't see much impact right now beyond some celebratory tweets and posts online. Certainly early yes, in the game. Yeah, extremist groups, which are, yeah, they're celebrating, but uh, but you have to wait and see really what, what sort of inspiration Taliban would be really to all these extremist groups, whether in Pakistan or across the Middle East.